Some of the best gifts are the ones that come from the heart. And today's recipe allows us to do exactly that. I am making a two ingredient fudge. So you guys, not only is it going to be quick, it's going to be easy, it is going to be delicious, and I am keeping it low carb. Thank you guys so very much for joining me today. If you're joining me for the first time, or if you're returning and not yet subscribed to my channel, please do me the honor of doing so by pressing the subscribe button below. And while you're at it, also remember to give this video a like and share, and remember to hit that notification bell so that you will always know when I upload new content. Yes, you guys, two ingredients is what I am using to make this. And I'm gonna call it a base fudge. And the reason why I say that is because you can embellish this recipe, make it your own kind of special, as I love to say, by adding some additional toppings on it if that is exactly what you choose to do, which is what I am doing today. I am going to make a chocolate peanut butter sauce. So once my fudge sets, I'm gonna drizzle some of that on top. And then on some of the fudge, I'm going to put some chopped nuts on it before I put it in the fridge to set. So you guys, if you want to learn how to put together a two ingredient, delicious low carb fudge, then stay with me and I will show you how coming up next. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is to prep our container that we're going to put the fudge in. And the reason being is because once we heat all of the ingredients for the fudge, mix it together, it is going to set very quickly. So we're going to need to put it into the container very, very quickly. Otherwise, it's going to set in our mixing bowl. And obviously, that is not what we want. So I've got here my well-used container. <laughs> you know, guys, don't judge. That's just a sign that I cook a lot. And um, I am going to line it with some parchment paper and I need to cut it to size. So what I'm gonna do is go around the rim or the perimeter of this container so that I can get the shape of it. It's like this. Okay, and as you can see, I have the shape of it get this pan out of the way and now I'm going to cut the edges Okay, so as you can see, we have four sides here. Each has a little handle on it. And this is what is going to hang over the container. So that way, once the uh, fudge has set, we'll be able to use these handles to lift it out of the container. So let's bring back our container. We are going to spray it with some nonstick cooking spray to keep that in place. Lay this in. And there you go. Okay, so let's set, set this aside and let's get into the recipe. Okay, remember I told you two ingredients? That's exactly what we're gonna use for this fudge. I've got some low carb homemade condensed milk and I've got some chocolate. As you can see, I've got some bar chocolate here and then I also have some chips. So your choice as far as which chocolate you want to use. I'm using what I have in my cabinet. So let's go ahead and add the chips to the bowl. We're going to rough chop these bars so it'll melt a lot easier. All right, you guys, that looks good. Okay, into the bowl, this goes. And the second and final ingredient is the condensed milk. All right, you guys, I'm just gonna give this a quick mix. 
and off to the microwave this goes. And I am going to heat this in 30 second increments just so that we can make sure we do, do not scorch this chocolate. All right. This is out of the microwave and everything is coming together very nicely. Just continue to stir it until we don't have any more clumps of chocolate. All right, you guys, this is ready. Let's bring back our pan. Go ahead and put this in. Okay, let's go ahead and spread this to the edges and nice and even. And we're just gonna tap it just to make sure we release any of the air pockets. All right, and that is looking real good. Now, let's just sit this aside for a second and we are going to chop these nuts and layer some of the nuts on a part of this fudge. Okay, everyone. All right, let's, let's go ahead and put some of this chocolate. I'm sorry, some of these nuts. And a part of this, how good does that look? That looks amazing. Okay. All right. This is the effect that I wanted. Only other thing I'm going to do is just press it in just to make sure that it sets into the chocolate. All right. And here we have it. Now off to the fridge this goes for a few hours so it can set. And then when I come back, I'm going to show you guys how I put the finishing touches on this. Very important before we bring it to the fridge, make sure we cover it with some plastic wrap. We do not want a cast to appear on our brownie. So if we put this up here, this will prevent that from happening. Okay, you guys, now this is ready for the fridge. Okay, out of the fridge. So let's go ahead and take this out of the container. That came out really, really easy, you guys. Proper prep work makes things a lot simpler. Okay. Look at that. That looks so good. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and cut into this. Like butter. Okay, everyone, this has been cut into the sizes that I want. I'm gonna go ahead and plate some of these and then I'm gonna put some of these in or on this rack so I can sprinkle some of this peanut butter chocolate sauce. Okay, let's slide this over so that we can bring this pan front and center. And we're just going to drizzle some of this chocolate peanut butter sauce. And all I did was put some peanut butter and chocolate into this bowl and microwaved it until it melted and came together.
Okay, everyone. Now these are ready. So at this point, I'm just gonna let this sit for a few minutes just so it can harden. And I am going to plate these. Okay, everyone, we've got low carb homemade fudge that we made our own kind of special because we have a plain chocolate. Then we've got a chocolate with uh, walnuts on top. And then the last one, we have a chocolate peanut butter sauce sprinkled on top. Ready to enjoy you and your family or to give away as gifts. Lord, I thank you. I've been looking forward to this since I put it in the mold, you guys. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. I am telling you, this would make the perfect gift because it comes from your heart. And all you need to do is you can put it into, wrap it up and put it into one of these pretty little gift bags, a gift box, or a nice holiday plate filled with your delicious fudge. Any way you do it, again, you make it your own kind of special and the recipient would absolutely love your gift. So you guys, thank you so very much for joining me. And remember to give this video a like and a share. And also please do subscribe to my channel if you've not yet done so before. And remember, it is a great day and you continue to make it your own kind of special. Until we meet again, keep growing, keep thriving, keep pushing those boundaries. And I will see you all real soon on my next Fit Fab 50. Enjoy.